Linux Mint 22.3 Upgrade. What happens if you skip 22.2? You're planning to upgrade to Linux Mint 22.3, but your machine is still on 22.1 or older. Can you skip 22.2 and jump straight to 22.3? Today we simulate that non-linear upgrade path, explain what breaks and why, and show safe recovery steps so you never end up staring at a broken desktop. Spoiler, skipping point releases is rarely a shortcut, and sometimes it's dangerous. Quick background. Linux Mint 22.3 is a long-term support release with fixes and refinements built on the 22.x series. Official upgrades for point releases are provided through Mint's Update Manager and Documented Upgrade Procedures. Mint's own blog and user guide explain how sequential point upgrades are expected to be handled by the Update Manager. Why people consider skipping. Many users think skipping a minor point release saves time, Fewer intermediate updates, fewer reboots, fewer versions to read about. That temptation grows if you're on an older machine or you've postponed maintenance. But point releases can include incremental package changes, dependency updates, and small config migrations, which are exactly the things the update manager expects to apply in order. Community reports and forum threads show users often use the built-in update manager to advance one point release at a time. Our approach? Research plus realistic simulation. We didn't perform destructive testing on production machines. Instead, we researched official upgrade notes, user guide instructions, and community reports, then recreated the typical nonlinear upgrade outcome in a controlled VM scenario. Fresh Mint 22.1 VM, no time shift snapshot, change sources to target 22.3, run apt-based upgrades. Below, I'll give the exact commands you'd see, the errors commonly reported, and step-by-step -step recovery actions you should prepare beforehand. Setup, what a direct jump looks like. Typical manual path users try when skipping. One, update existing system. sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade minus y and sudo apt full upgrade minus y. 2. Manually change apt sources or force the update manager to offer 2223. Some try editing etc. apt fert dot list dot d slash pin or apt pinning. 3. Run sudo apt update and sudo apt dist upgrade or let update manager attempt the upgrade. Note. The supported method for in-series upgrades is using the Update Manager's Edit Upgrade to Linux Mint 22.x flow, which applies intermediate migrations. Doing a manual point-to-point -point change bypasses those intermediate migration steps. What typically breaks? From official docs plus forum reports, here are the concrete problems you can encounter when skipping 22.2. Dependency conflicts. Packages that expected to be upgraded from 22.1, 22.2, first can have unmet dependencies or require transitional packages that were added slash renamed in 22.2. This can produce, depends, package X, graded by version, but version Y is to be installed, errors. Partial package upgrades slash held packages. Apt or dpackage may leave packages in an unconfigured state, dpackage error processing package, requiring sudo dpackage dash configure dash a and sudo apt dash fix broken install. Orphaned transitional packages. Small helper packages or migrations added in 22.2, for example, packaging that moves config files or switches services, may never be installed leaving configuration partially migrated. Configuration mismatches. Some new default config files or renamed services, login, greeter, fingerprint support, sticky note sync, expected in 22.2 may be absent or inconsistent, causing UI components or PAM login modules to fail. Community threads show fingerprint slash login related tweaks and update manager changes in point releases. 
broken update metadata slash update manager behavior. Update manager itself can get confused if the system state does not match the expected upgrade path. The UI may not present the correct upgrade to option. Community posts indicate users rely on the update manager to present the correct sequential upgrade path. Example commands you might see and how apt reacts. When a manual nonlinear upgrade fails, typical remediation commands are basic fixes, sudo apt update, sudo apt dash dash fix dash broken install, sudo dpkg dash dash configure dash a, sudo apt full upgrade to identify held packages sudo apt mark show hold. If a package breaks further, try reinstalling. sudo apt install dash dash reinstall package name. If repository state is wrong, restore correct sources and rerun update. If there are still missing transitional packages, you'll see dependency error messages listing which packages can't be installed. Those package names tell you what migration steps were skipped. Postmortem, what the system looks like. After a failed direct jump, users report. Some apps work, others crash on start, missing libraries or wrong versions. Desktop sessions may fail if PAM modules or display manager configs were partially changed. Apt may refuse further upgrades until you resolve dependency chains. In severe cases, the system becomes unusable and requires chiart root repair from a live USB or full reinstall. This is why Mint's Update Manager exists, to perform migrations in the right order, drop in transitional packages, and update configuration files with prompts in the expected sequence. Recovery Checklist, Step-by-Step step. If you or a viewer is stuck after trying to skip releases, follow this checklist in order. One. Stop and snapshot, if possible. If the system is somewhat functional, create a timeshift snapshot before further changes. If you don't have one, take a file backup of forward slash home. Two, basic apt repair. Sudo apt update. Sudo apt dash dash fix dash broken install. Sudo dpkg dash dash configure dash a. Sudo apt full upgrade. 3. Identify held or broken packages. sudo apt mark show hold, sudo apt list, dash dash upgradable. 4. Reinstall problematic packages. sudo apt install, dash dash reinstall package name for each broken package. 5. If the package tree is irreparably broken, boot a live USB. Sharoot into your installation and run the above apt commands from Sharoot. 6. Last resort. Restore from timeshift snapshot or reinstall. Always have backups. Verdict. Can you skip 22.2? Short answer, not recommended. Official tools and community guidance assume in-sequence point release upgrades. Skipping a point release increases the chance of dependency conflicts, orphan transitional packages, and partial config migrations. And those can break the desktop or login stack. Follow the update manager's sequential upgrade flow for the safest experience. Best practices. Always make a timeshift snapshot before any release upgrade. Read the release notes for each point release. They list known issues and required manual steps. Use the update manager's upgrade to flow rather than manually editing apt sources. Test upgrades in a VM if you manage multiple machines or critical systems. Keep backups of important data separately from system snapshots. Closing and call to action. If you liked this walkthrough, hit like and subscribe. I post deep dives like this for Linux Mint and desktop environments. Want me to run a live VM test with timeshift snapshots and record the exact terminal output for 22.1, 22.3? Drop a comment and I'll prioritize it. Stay safe. Upgrade smart, not fast. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.
Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.